Wow, it's a beautiful morning, and today we put some slabs in the boat. Me and my partner, Wade, take an early morning, summery day, even though we're in the fall, to pick up some slabs. And let me tell you, we do a great job. Please do me a favor and subscribe. You're going to love this episode, folks. A long one, a lot of fish going in the boat. If your passion is crappie fishing, you've found your home. Sponsored by these great companies. Not a crappie. You got that big thing right there. Doug, huh? That's what you got. <laughs> yes! I can't wait to see this. I'm guessing it's a drum. Really? Because it is moving extremely slow. Yeah, it's just. Mm -hmm. I always see him in the piles. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's coming up. That is a big. I got a net too. <laughs> Wow. He's taking drag. Oh, he's off. Oh, come on. I was getting you know, I was running it off. Look at that. I think he got my uh no hard connection. They do, but I'd like to actually put the pedal right here and right. move around. That is a soft. If you catch a decent one, I think I'll keep them. I'll well, keep some meters today. Well, we're out here on a beautiful lake. Great morning. We've got a warm up in the summer, and well, I guess we're, I don't know if we're taking advantage of it, but we're definitely catching some fish. It's a beautiful day. Fishing with Wade. Welcome. We're going to be using live scope, over jig piles, metal setups. Kind of what me and Wade love to do. We're putting fish in the boat. And you're keeping these? I'm hungry. Wade's hungry, so he's gonna. Is he ready? Yeah. We're keeping them today. Woo! <laughs> Don't do it very often. <laughs> so, on this day, we started off on some porcupine sets. And I'll tell you, we weren't catching that many fish, folks. We were catching small ones, as you can see right here. Wasn't what we were looking for. So, we moved around, we found some timber, and I'll tell you, that's where they were at. Lay downs. So today, using the Pro Series, the gray rod right here, 10 footer. I don't know what Wade's using. He's using the, he's pulling out the, what do you got there? 11 footer. He's pulling out the 11 footer. So the jigging pole, but I'm going with the Pro Series. Love it. Check them out at ozarkrod.com. Woo, baby, there you go. Good slab right here. This is a, a very nice white. Very nice white. Great day. Still. Very still. Man, that's a pretty fish. Pretty fish. Check that. Not too heavy. Yeah, you, I like to use a 11 foot, 12 foot poles. Get a little bit of that reach out in front of the boat a little bit more when I'm fishing these piles. Some people like the 10 foot, nine foot, fish right underneath the boat. I kind of like it to sit out there in the front. So that's why I use the 11 footer. And when you got two people on the boat, it's kind of nice to have one using a 10, one using a 12. So you're covering a lot more area. Yep, you got him. That's a good fish, folks. Yeah, it's a good fish. I switched to that platinum hook right there. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but that is a hole right there. That is a good fish, all 13 incher. Yeah, 
that is a pig. Whoa! That's our fish of the day. Good. I, I hope it's not, but that is huge. Cut on the Ozark rod jigging pole right here. Okay, I mentioned before, and both of us kind of use a very similar. I use a, a number three split shot, a number two hook on this particular light. I, I'm fishing with eight pound high vis line. So even though we have live scope, we're still watching our line if we're not watching live scope. So it gives us just a little extra, little something to utilize if we think we have, if it's a light bite. And today is definitely a light bite. Yeah, it's a really, really, a really light bite today. So having high vis line is is just as important. So I've tried the, the clear line and I, I just, I can't do it. It just, it was very difficult. I was getting tangled up. I couldn't follow it with my, my old eyes. <laughs> Big fish. Wow. Look at these. We got some hogs on here. <laughs> he was tangled up on a tree. <laughs> oh yeah. Bam. Great fish. Wow. That's a good fish right there. Gosh dang. Good fish, Wade. The way your line though was continue even when you I even, see it moving. Even when you were pulling up on that limb, <laughs> I could see your line doing this. I was like, oh, there's something. I actually saw it on live scope at one point. I saw the fish. I think there's some dandies on this area right here. This is a spot that we haven't fished before, so it's nice. Nice little quality fish. Quality fish, I tell you. Some today. Might eat. Bellers are getting chubby. It's a small guy. Small guy. Wow. Belly, they must be eating at night though, Wade. That belly's that belly's getting full. It's gonna be a steam bath today. We're looking at 94. Crazy hot. By the time you're watching this, we'll be in the fall transition. This is kind of the fall transition, but the we got this surprise two-day record heat. 94 degrees. How about that, folks? That's crazy. My wife's angry about it, too, because she's like, we're not going to get fall weather. We're not going to get true fall weather. We're going to jump right into winter. I don't know if that's true or not, but... I don't want winter to come, Wade. That's the problem. I, just, I don't like. <laughs> I, don't I don't like winter at all. I'm not a big fan of it at all either. <laughs> That's gonna be a good fish. Nice. Nice. Good job, bud. Oh. Those are rods. Look at that pig. That is a big fish. <laughs> Let me get over so you can see what's going on. I don't think you need to see what happened right there. No, I saw with your photo. It's a pretty fish. Just a little too small. Just a little too small. You guys can check out the uh, three pound fishing merch at threepoundfishing.com. And don't forget, doing guided trips this fall. Even through the winter, folks, the fishing's great. Through the winter, you can uh, email me at threepoundfishing at gmail.com. Get out on the boat. Have you a good time. Get in the boat, it's no joke. That's what I like to say. A lot of good times. <laughs>
I had a dandy and I got off. Wrapped me around a tree branch. This is a lot of fish in here right now. Good size fish. Bottom of this, I don't know, it's, an, it's a tree. Way catch the big one, I catch the small one. That's how it's gonna be. This is the Pro Series with the foam handle. So you do have an option with the Pro Series um, foam or, or the uh, cork. Probably, probably, you have to take 127 in the opposite direction. All right! <laughs> A great fish. A lot of whites today, man. A lot of whites. A good bass. Yeah. <laughs> now you're on a shorter leash there, buddy. Oh, that's a dandy. That's a dandy. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. You got it. <laughs> yeah, he was really Hey, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Great day on the water. Team three pound fishing. We look forward to crappie masters and the ACT and all the events we got coming up. Ain't that right, Wade? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a great time. <laughs> Hopefully we'll win one of these events. It'll be awesome. <laughs> so we'll take you for a along the ride and it's gonna be a great time in 2020 for sure.